When we started making these videos, I sort of felt that the periodic table was about as complete as it would get. Element an an pentium, element 115. And it's been a real surprise the frequency at which the discovery or synthesis of a new element has been announced. And a few days ago, we had the announcement that the original experiment for making element 115 had been repeated by a different group. And this greatly increases the chances that element 115 will actually get a name. Originally, groups from the Institute in Dubna in Russia and the Lawrence Livermore Lab in the States collaborated to make element 115. The way they did it was a method which many of you who are regular viewers may be becoming quite familiar with. You take a heavy element and a light element and by accelerating the light element it bangs into the heavy element so fast that every so often, and not very often, the two nuclei fuse. So in this case you take americium element number 95, calcium ions going really fast, element number 20, 20 plus 95 makes 115. If we do it properly, you can see they should fuse together. It's quite a hard process, but here you have the combined nucleus 115. When I bought this toy, dog toy, I didn't think I'd be using it so much. So here's the new element. Now, the way that these are detected is by their nuclear decay, which gives out sometimes alpha particles, sometimes gamma rays, and you can predict quite well how these elements are going to decay. Here are the decay chains of some of the lower number elements. The reason why I've got this tie is that this is from the German Institute, GSI, the Heavy Iron Research Institute, and the new paper has come from a group of Swedish scientists and under Professor Dirk Rudolf, who has done essentially a very similar experiment, calcium plus americium, but on the German accelerator, and they have detected the emission of gamma rays, or it may be X-rays, depending on the precise wavelength, um, as these decay. But the important point is that we now have a repeat of the original experiment so that the evidence, all being well, will be much stronger for the existence of element 115. So what happens now is that the evidence is submitted to a committee, a joint committee of the International Union of Physics and the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, and they discuss the evidence. And if they're satisfied, then the discoverers, and I'm not sure whether it will be the first group or the second group, or perhaps both, are allowed to choose the name. What that means for my mug is that we should be able to fill in the blank space between element 114 and 116. And just like 114 has the name fluorovium and 116 is livermorium, there's an opportunity for an interesting name in between. I still quite like the name Plankium after Max Planck because I think Plankium is nice and short and easy for everybody to say. But I'd be interested to hear what you think should be a good name. Remember that it has to be named after a scientist who is dead. So if you li name a living scientist, it's sort of condemning them to death, which is not very nice. And but there is a real opportunity to celebrate something that is not too nationalistic. It should be said about this discovery being led by a Swedish team that Sweden has quite a good track record of discovering elements. There's the element scandium that was discovered. And they're also my scientific ancestor Bezelius discovered several elements. And of course, 
the famous quarry in Itabi has led to the discovery of many new elements. So Sweden is quite a hotbed of this discovery. So it is quite nice. And perhaps the element will end up with a Swedish name, but it would be nice to have something that was more international. Should Berzelius have an element? Yes, Berzelium would be quite nice. And, but the symbol, well, I suppose the symbol could be BZ. So let's see what they say. Whenever we do a video about this, people suggest polycophium, like yes. jokingly or serious, whatever. You said one has to be dead to yes. have an element named yes. after them. We've also heard people say that many chemists think having an element named after them is a great honour. Would you be willing to trade in any years on Earth in exchange for an element? No, I don't think so. And so many people have difficulty pronouncing my surname. It would be a dreadful name for an element. Nobody would be able to pronounce it. And also, and most importantly, I have done nothing for the discovery of the new elements, and so I don't deserve such an honour anyway. Just, just a message for the people naming the elements. I am open to the idea. I've had nothing to do with it, but... Harium. Harium, oh. Bradium. Yeah. I take it. Yes. I take it. Yes. <laughs> Perhaps Utubium. Utubium. No, they've, they've done nothing.